Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God. Today's lesson is called, Missing the Moments. John Witt said something relevant about this when he wrote, We alter it, but likewise, we almost always have a reason or excuse. We are too busy, we have earlier and other priorities and commitments, don't have the guts and energy, or are just not our style. Our excuses always seem legitimate, even persuasive, at the moment, until we realize, often when it's too late, that some moments come our way that when they're gone, they're gone, they never come our way again. James and John miss the moments when pride, anger, hatred, and plan of revenge prevail over humility, understanding and patience and tolerance no matter how justified they think and feel. The Samaritan village people missed too the moments when they opted for rejection and unwelcoming attitudes to Jesus and his two apostles, James and John, send ahead of him to prepare the way. The Greek word for prepare was used in two ways. The first was to prepare a road for a visiting dignitary by making it level and straight. That's clearly not what Jesus was asking this village to do. He was just up the road. There was no time for a highway project. Instead, Jesus was asking them to make room for him by preparing to host him. When they refuse to make room for Jesus, there's no need anymore to call down fire on the Samaritans to destroy them. Again, there is no need. Why? Because the very moment they reject him they ruin something else. They choose to be deprived of God's visitation, of God's presence, of God's blessings and of God's promise of salvation. So, every time we wave him off, we waste another chance. Every time we leave him out, we lose out. Making the most of these moments is critical to making the most of our lives. So be sure to make the most of the moments instead of making excuses. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God.